Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, I want to have a look at the rise of Daisy in 2021. Yes, it's the end of the year and we can look back on a very successful year for this iconic survival game. But why has Daisy become so popular again? You can't ignore the facts. At the end of this year, November to December 2021, Daisy peaked with its number of users. 45,000 people, nearly 46,000 people were playing Daisy, which is higher than when it first came out in 2014. But where has the success come from for Daisy in 2021? Well, there's a couple of obvious things that we have to uh, mention. For example, COVID has meant that it is a boom time for games and anything on your home computer, people are at home, they've got to do stuff. They've got back into Daisy. There's a certain amount of nostalgia. So how has Daisy done it? Well, there has been a planned strategy in my mind. Now that I look back on the updates, for example. So in 2020, there was what they call one major update and a series of standard updates. That was 1.10 at the end of 2020. And then as we move into 2021, they released 1.11. And it's kind of called the stability update. If you look back at how they describe that particular set of implementations, they highlight stability. And for me, this was a really clever thing to do because in 2020, Daisy was picking up. There were lots more people. In fact, there were some really high peaks, 35,000 people playing in May, um, in February, 40,000 people. So we had something really solid to sink our teeth into. It was more stable, but this 1.11 really brought in a reliability in the past, say back in 2016, June, a stable update there wasn't didn't quite hit the mark and we saw numbers plummet into 2017 and in 2018 it really did suffer but the stability issue the 1.11 really allowed people to rely on Daisy in 2021 then once they realized the game was here to stay so to speak and rather just didn't die off and it was back the developers decided, let's really change some of the key aspects of the game. So with 1.13, they introduced a new AI for the infected. And you saw them responding to things in-game. The infected still is one of the issues with Daisy. They've never quite got it right, but they really tried. And I think people acknowledge the fact that things were looking up. The infected were responding to thrown items, for example, and you could distract them. That is a really clever mechanic and makes the game really fun. The stealth aspects they introduced provided different styles of play, made other things, other options available in game. And they also looked at player versus player. And in fact, this video playing in the background now, and you can see, looks at some of those mechanics the knockdown, the unconsciousness, the fainting blood levels. Suddenly that was more complex, more interesting. You could take prisoners, if you like. And then 1.14, as we're moving towards the end of the year, they changed something in Daisy that was really massive. They introduced infected zones, the gas clouds, one over Reefy, one over one of the military bases. And these were permanent features in the landscape. <laughs> Daisy had never seen anything like this. The developers were saying, look, we're making big changes. And it was apparent at the time as well that there were more updates coming. And I noticed it as well. Daisy is updating more regularly. It looks as if there's a bigger team, and justifiably, because now they're getting 40,000 people playing it on a regular basis. In fact, as I made this video, 23,000 people played an hour ago. That is a huge amount of people. But there was another thing that they introduced, and that was mods. Allowing people to change the servers, create new maps, that has opened out the game and generated new interest, brought other people in that were bored with Chernerus. 
people are returning to Daisy and finding that it's richer. There's more to it. There's more going on. There are there are updates. There are new maps. There are new items. If you want to play modded servers, you can go and play modded servers. If you don't like some of the update aspects, like the stamina that's been in for a long while now, there are servers where that isn't in effect. So you can find what you want and play it the way you like. The leadership on DayZ has really taken the things that people are looking for and implemented it. And that was on the back of that stability update 1.11 at the beginning of 2021. Of course, we also had Livonia released in 2019 in December. So there were two official maps as well, a richer tapestry. I think the approach of Livonia the second map really kind of highlights to people that maybe the developers were serious. And those that were questioning the number of developers, the time and effort, really have had to now say, so where does Daisy go from here? Well, it is interesting because there isn't a lot of detail out there. If you look at the official Daisy website, they talk about polishing what they've done already and providing regular updates. 1.15 has seen a number of old items reintroduced back into the game and updated. I think we'll see more of that, but I also suspect, based upon the previous years, that we will get a big update a month or two in. And this could be stability focused, it could be a whole set of new items brought back in. There's also talk of the story of Hannah the survivor. I don't know much about this or what this could entail. In fact, they haven't released much information. And on the Steam page, there's very little about any of this. But it says that we can look forward to seeing more about her adventures. So that could be interesting. I don't know what that is going to entail. I think what we're going to see, though, is 2022 is going to be a year of re-kitting Daisy with all the objects that we've had in the past making it smooth, making it stable, and potentially, maybe, even some kind of story element introduced on a different type of server, I don't know. That would be, in my mind, a break from what DayZ is, the open world survival game, but there is definitely a call in lots of other games to introduce some kind of storyline. Who can tell what will happen? One thing I'm pretty sure of is they're not going to make too many promises because in the past that has really backfired for the developers of Daisy. They're going to keep it quiet and just keep banging out these big updates. Now, you guys may have a different opinion about this. It would be really awesome if I could hear what that is, if you could leave it in the comment section down below. Because Daisy is a massive community and we like to share what we do. I put out quite a bit of content on my YouTube channel and love it i always come back to daisy i'm a big fan as you're probably aware but that's not to say i'm not afraid to criticize the game but 2021 has definitely been a year where daisy needs to be complimented it's done really well i'm enjoying being back in the game i hope you guys are as well if you found this video interesting click the thumbs up if you haven't subbed already it'd be great if you could and guys i'll see you in 2022 Take care.